Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Chaser. Today we'll talk about the Bored Ape Club. Let's head into it. Consciously or not, you've probably seen a Bored Ape Yacht Club NFT around. That's especially true if you're on Twitter, where owners of Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs flaunt their prizes by using them as profile photos. And these owners aren't just anyone. These include Stephen Curry, Post Malone, and most recently, Jimmy Fallon. One of the most successful collections in the non-fungible token space, BAYCE launched in April and consists of 10,000 Bored Apes. Right now, the cheapest you can buy one for is either 49 Ethereum, $208,000 they often sell for much more. Like everything else to do with NFTs, the BAYC is continuous. Ape owners inspire jealousy among those who own and trade NFT art, but confusion and suspicion among people who don't. Some of its success is about the art, but most of it isn't. Here's what you need to know about the collection. How many are there? Broadly speaking, there are two types of NFT art. First, you have one-off visual art pieces that are sold as NFTs, just like paintings in real life. In the case of BAYC, there are 10,000 apes, each with different properties, varying fur types, facial expressions, clothing, accessories, and more. These properties are displayed on OpenSea, the main platform where NFTs are traded. On any given NFTs page, its properties will be listed, as well as the percentage of NFTs in the collection that share that property. Usually, anything under 1% is considered rare. For example, think a look at the trio of apes at the top of the page. On the right, you'll see the one with a rare solid gold fur trade. Of 10,000 apes, only 46 have this property, making these 46 particularly valuable. As noted, the floor price for the project, what you'll pay for an ape with common traits, is 52 Ethereum. Apes with a golden fur trait are rare, so sell for much more. Last week, someone bought one for 333 Ethereum, or 1.36 million. One with a golden fur and laser eyes, two sub minus 1% traits, went for 3 million two months ago. BAYC is the second biggest NFT project of this kind behind only CryptoPunks. CryptoPunks is a collection of 10,000 8-bit avatars created in 2017 and gets much of its value for being the OG NFT collection. The unremarkable ones sell for around 100 Ethereum or $500,000. What makes Bored Ape Yacht Club valuable? What makes a BAYC or any other NFT collection valuable is highly subjective. Broadly, it's a mix of three things. Influencer slash celebrity involvement, community strength, and utilities for members. The first one is obvious. When famous people own an NFT, it makes others want to own one too. The most recent example is Jimmy Fallon. The Tonight Show host bought a BAYC on November 8th for a cool $150,000 and has since been using it as a profile twitcher on Twitter, where he has 50 million followers. That brought a flurry of hype and sales. Second, utility. Most NFT projects claim to offer utility of some sort, be it access to play to earn games or the option to stake an NFT in exchange for an associated cryptocurrency. Board 8 Yacht Club has done a few things to keep owners interested. First, it created the Bored Ape Kennel Club, offering owners opportunity to adopt a dog NFT with traits that mimic those of Bored Apes. In August came another freebie, digital vials of mutant serum. Owners would mix their Bored Ape with the serum to create another NFT, a mutant ape. Both Kennel Club and mutant ape NFTs sell for a lot, with floor prices around 14,000 and 26,000, respectively. Last and most important is the community that's built around the collection. Bored Ape Yacht Club has organized meetups in New York and California, and there have been Bored Ape Yacht get-togethers in Hong Kong and UK too. Most recently, a weekend of festivities for owners was held in New York, featuring an actual yacht party and a concert that featured appearances from Chris Rock, Asit Ansari, and The Strokes. Of course, that's a business aspect to develop in a community. Art of any kind is worth only as much as people are willing to pay for it. In an NFT collection, the floor price is essentially equal to what the least invested members are willing to sell for. People believing they're holding a token into a community results in fewer people listing their apes for sale. Selling your ape isn't just selling an NFT, but a community pass too. Plus, once a collection reaches a certain level of value, it becomes a status symbol. People in the cryptocurrency and NFT spaces use profile pictures for Twitter, Discord, and other platforms like cheek executives wear Rolexes. You can download a JPEG of a board ape just like you can wear a $10 Rolex knockoff. In both cases though, people will know. What do you think about the board ape club? Would you like to buy one? Tell us in the comments. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen right now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you next video.